Hey guys, Lim here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of my GTA San Andreas Let's Play series, and this is episode 22. Now, last episode we actually made it to San Fierro, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we ended up doing a few missions for the truth, to actually get us here, and to get us started in this crappy garage. And the way we actually got this crappy garage was, uh, instead of a pink slip with Catalina and Claude, who's from GTA, uh, GTA 3 even, uh, they, they gave us the keys to this garage, because they needed... The, uh, then they needed their card to get to Liberty City, which sort of starts the GTA 3 story off. But uh, yeah, we, we instead we got the garage, uh, we, we got this garage, and it's a pretty shitty garage. So at the moment, I think we're trying to do it up a bit. Uh, CJ sister Kendall sort of made a uh, quite a decent idea. We should build it up, get it running as a business, and then sell it off to get you know quite a lot of money. And I think that's what we're sort of doing at the minute. And what the fuck is? Do you see that train thing over there? It's just so the police doesn't even arrest that it's not a train obviously I, I don't know what they're called uh, railway thing that was nutty uh, yeah but anyway we're gonna get started with this mission so uh, just to let you know that Z on the map I think last episode we we met um, basically a bunch of mechanics was the last mission we did where they we trying to get mechanics together to help us out of this place and one of the uh, people like electronics guy was zero and he just rang us up in the last episode to say that he can't live there anymore, so I think we've got to go and buy that place, which I don't know how much it is, so I'm not going to bother with that yet, because I don't reckon I've got much. What's that cop car doing? I don't think I've got enough money, but we're going to carry on with the CJ mission, so uh, let's get straight on with it. Carl, how's San Fierro? It's fucked up. I can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Now you got the present for that friend of mine, right? You know, the one trying to get me and old Officer Pulaski into trouble? Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give Wee Tip a call? Hey, motherfucker, the code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't give a fuck if he kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? He's at the Van Kampf Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure. Right, so it looks like we're doing more of uh, Tenpenny's dirty work. I'm, I'm not really sure what this is about. The DA is on his way to the Bankhoff Hotel in downtown San Fierro. So, I think this DA is basically threatening uh, Tenpenny out of, you know, he, he, I, I reckon he's he's got the potential to get Tenpenny chucked off the police force, which is a good thing. But it's bad for us because Tenpenny sort of got sweet at the moment. So we, we, as I said in uh, when, we, when we first got to the countryside, we're trying to keep uh, Tenpenny sweet at the minute, just so he doesn't do any harm to uh, do any harm to sweet. I'm, I'm saying sweet quite a lot because I realised why I called him sweet because it, it might get a bit confusing. I, we're trying to keep him happy, I should say. We're trying to keep Tenpenny happy so sweet is safe. Uh, and there's a lot of rain. Which is awesome for drifting, but not when you're trying to do a mission. Um, so, the Vankov Hotel, which is here, I take it. So, what do we have to do? Just take him out? The hotel operate, operates a valet service. The DA will be dropping his car off here shortly. Follow the valet to the underground car park and waste him. Bloody hell, that's a bit drastic, isn't it? Can't he just, like, rob his clothes just that's a bit more weird but you know you could just there's surely a more civil way of getting this guy out of his clothes that sounds even more wrong there's surely fuck it we'll kill him take his clothes that's the most sensible way i take it uh in what that is awesome parking my friend that is why you're doing this job you deserve to die you deserve to die that's that's some interesting looking clothes they've turned blue look he's still wearing them oh money no money damn Okay, so, so oh, you're looking very dapper, pucker. Look, pucker vintage. This guy is. Look at him. Uh, I'm gonna park this car properly because that guy done a shitty job. I can just sort of show I'm a good parker, park or valet as they call them. Okay, so we've got to, I think, take the DA's car. What are we gonna do with it exactly? Have we got. To, we'll find out soon, but I'm not really 100% sure what we're gonna. If we're going to have to take him out while he's in, in the car park, or... I don't know. We're about to find out, though, if we get up here. And so I better not put my, better put my gun away. But at least weather's dried up a bit. Because I wouldn't expect these guys ah, to be doing their job in the, the rain. Boy. Get in line. Get in line? You're fucking lucky I don't kill you, my son. Alright, let's see what he... Uh, 
what car are we looking for? The DA is driving a blue Merit. Remember it. You will need to identify it when it comes. Uh, make sure none of the other valets service his car first. <laughs> or is just fucking? Is it like a fight to the car? God Almighty. So what was it? A blue Merit? It was a Merit. Um, identify the DA's car when it arrives. Okay. Um, you guys, just to let you know, I'm gonna be killing someone today, so please do not take their car because I need it. Yeah, back off, back off. Uh, is that a blue merit? That doesn't look like a DA, if I'm completely honest. Excuse me, sir. Are you a DA? No, you are definitely not a DA. Why is everyone running about? I haven't shot anyone, have I? Why? I don't think I've done anything. I shot that guy in the car park. That's about it. Um. Okay. This is a bit nutty. They're going a bit crazy. Um. So, uh, how's the wife? Very talkative today, I see. You'll be good at your job. Where is this car exactly? Uh, so, what does a blue merit look like? That's the thing with GTA. A lot of cars on this game look the same. So it's like... Hey, that's the DA. He's a good tipper. Oh, I'll take it then. Take the car. That guy... Mate, you are very helpful. Oh shit, there's time. You're in Jay's car. Go to the garage where the drugs will be planted. Ah, I see. Very nice, Tenpenny. Your usual tricks, I see. Uh, so, I take it we're not allowed to damage this car. Um, hang on. Is that is this time limit going to be sensible or is it ridiculously rush over there? And Hang on, which garage are we going to? The one near our garage? Uh, we should just take it to our garage. Is it? Are we going to our garage? Or are we going to? Uh, hang on, I think yeah, we are going to our. Garage. I thought it meant like a uh, do your own car at garage customization, but obviously not. So we're gonna plant some drugs so the DA gets found out and arrested. Hopefully, well, I say hopefully for our sake and for ten pennies. So how long is this gonna take to put the drugs in? Because we're on a time limit here. The drugs are planted. Take the cars to the car. Okay, if I damage this car, I've got a horrible feeling. Keep the car spotless. Yep, as I was about to say, if I get this car even a bit scratched from dickheads like that who just cut out in front of you and don't even pay any little bit of attention to your car, GTA drivers are, can be a pain. That's the thing, with GTA 4, it's really weird. Particular cars drive worse than others. It's not a fact that every different car drives, like for example, a faction in GTA 4 Online, for some reason, drives a lot worse than any other car, and I don't know why. Uh, we've got a minute, and I need to be safe, so I'm driving quite slowly. Have we? What have we got a minute to do? Park the car, or a minute to get out and get back up to the uh, top? That guy's legging it. You see that valet? There he is. Better not run him over. Park the car in a marked parking space. Okie dokie. It'd be bad if I damaged the car now, wouldn't it? Okay. A valet is coming to run, return the DA's car. Get outside the valet car park and call the cops. Okay, so we're basically setting this guy up. Uh, yeah, get the one with the drugs in, mate. Uh, and basically, I don't know why he spent so little time in the hotel. I thought if you go to a hotel, you'll be here a while. Uh, is, is that the DA? He looks like a bloody... I don't know, he looks like a jerk, to be honest. I've seen something highly suspicious you should come check out. I love CJ's pose. <laughs> Do you know who you're fucking with here? I'll have your badge, you moron. Shut up! You find anything back there? Found anything? He's got half of Mexico in here. Must be two tons of Mary here. What? But but I've never seen. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy. Well, that's that, I take it. Oh, you are a quick dresser, CJ. You are a magician, my friend. Speaking of dress, we should probably get some new clothes soon. Uh, I'm not sure when. End of the marker. Oh, we've got valet side missions now. Oh, hello. What's your name? No, I'm not getting sidetracked. So, we've got a pizza hut. What, what is that place called? I've forgotten. I was going to say pizza hut. The well-stacked pizza co. Okay. Um... Okay, we're going to do another mission, if I can find a car or a bike. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I love that. It's such an awesome hijack. Was that a cop next to me that just ignored? I don't think it was. Otherwise, he would have chased me. But, yeah, actually, I, I don't know. That was just another piece of dirty work for Tenpenny, basically. So, 
Uh, hopefully we've kept him happy and he's... Oh, well, CJ's... Uh, not CJ. Sweet's obviously not safe, safe. But he's not, you know, in any uh, chance of dying at the minute. But I'm not sure when... If we're actually going to get Sweet out of... I don't know if he's still in the hospital at the prison or if he's actually now in prison. But, you know, it, I think Tenpenny's realised that... CJ is useful and he can get a lot of things done so he's using that to his, his advantage but okay we're going to head on to the next mission for CJ which is deconstruction hey homies what up Carl what the fuck is going on do I look like a hooker to you what those assholes keep saying shit to me who said this to you the construction workers up that hill I'm gonna fuck them up nah hold up I got this. I need to go teach him a little respect, huh? That's right. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting me some new land anyway. Well, it looks like we're just going to go beat the shit out of some construction workers. <laughs> Scare off the construction firm. The things like... It's like missions like this don't contribute that well to the main story, which is fine because they're fun to do. Destroy all the portables and kill the foremen. We're just going to kill them for the hell of it. Construction machinery will help destroy the portables. So we've got to get in one of them uh, things, digger things. Uh, destroy all the portables, you will need a bulldozer. Oh, we're getting a bulldozer then. Uh, and then we're going to destroy all the portables. So basically they've been chatting shit to CJ's sister and we're just going to get them to die, I think, which is a bit harsh. Uh, portables. What you mean? That toilet portable? Oh, shit. Be careful to avoid explosive barrels. Oh, shit. I didn't realise they were there. Oh, shit. I better not get close to them exp explosive barrels. They could come to my advantage. Uh, I doubt it, though. Oh, shit. There are four portables left to destroy. Get out of the way. Dude! How, how? how are you going faster than me? No. Fuck off. Leave me alone. Yes. Spin out. No, not me. Okay, uh, hopefully that he stays down there for a while. Oh, shit, there are three portables left to destroy. Is there still someone after me? Yep, he's climbing up the hill. Okay, number two. There are two portables left to destroy. That bulldozer is coming for me thick and fast. Is that a chainsaw up there? We'll keep that in handy. Uh, the bulldozer has crashed into the fucking crane, which is helpful. And there's explosive barrels there, so I'm going nowhere near them. Why are we on a time limit? That's kind of weird. You think we'd just have all the time in the world to destroy these? Okay, what now? Oh god, is there someone in there? What's all that damn clatter? Ah. Holy crap! I didn't see nothing. Why would you run back into there? Push the mobile. <laughs> and we got a fucking then bury him under concrete. Is this a sort of a uh, message? It reminds me of sort of being a mafia member, just sending a message. What's that dickhead doing? He's a very bad bulldozer driver. I know I can't, you know. Uh, okay, so where's the... Um... Okay, the guy is hidden in there. If we Surely if we move him, he would realise he's being pushed. I mean, he would jump out. Or is that just me thinking too realistically? Oh, God, he's flipped over. Get in there! Get in there! I don't want to get chucked out of this thing, so... Oh, no, I don't want to get hijacked. Guys, fuck off. Just leave me alone. Get in a cement mixer. Do these guys have guns, do you reckon? Shall I risk getting out? God, mate, I'm going to fucking push you in in a minute. Ah, oh, get the fuck out. Go, go away, you prick. Leave me alone. Run over your own member. There we go. God almighty. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave this guy in a little uh, goose chase. Hang on, there's two cement mixers. Okay, mate, if you... Okay, get out there. Go, 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 go. Where's the other guy on foot? Oh, I've got a bouquet of flowers still. That's from the countryside. They're useless as a weapon, I suppose. Back into... The Who's fucking shooting me? Back into the... How have you got guns? You're construction site workers. Jesus Christ, get back to your own job. Do your job properly. There we go. So, <laughs> this guy is probably covered in shit, and now he's getting covered in cement as well, so... Uh, how long do you reckon he'd survive in there out of curiosity? I'm not sure. Um, not long, I take it. Jesus Christ, that is a lot of cement. Uh, if any, if you could lay cement down that quickly, you wouldn't bloody, uh, you'd be sorted. That is, they wouldn't need to be here all day building. Um, okay, we've got a triad sign here now. Um, have we got time for another mission? I think we can. 
Uh, phone call. Okay, who's this? Yeah, what? Yo, man! It's Jethro, dude! Hey, Jethro, what up? Well, I was talking to Caesar, and, uh, well, don't get me wrong, dude. I mean, you are one out there dude when it comes to driving, man. But Caesar, he told us how many cars you get through, dude. And me and Dwayne were like, whoa! What is your point, Jethro? No, no point, man, no point. Just that there's an advanced driving school, like, just up the road from the garage, man. Like in Doherty. Driving school? Man, exactly what you trying to say, man. Nothing, man, nothing. It was Dwayne's idea. I think you're, you know, cool and shit. I, I better go, CJ. I'll see you later. Okay, so now we can go to the advanced driving school. Now, again, that's not part of the main story, and I don't intend to do that unless you guys want to see it. So leave comments below if you do want to see uh, that sort of thing, uh, and I will be sure to upload footage of the advanced driving school. But I think for now I'm going to leave there. We've there's a triad sort of dragon sign here. I think. Uh, I I think that might be something to do with that Wutsu guy because he said that he's going to help us out in San Fierro if if we can do a little business and something like that. But I'm going to leave it there. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next episode will be up tomorrow, so look out for that. And yeah, I'll see you later and have an awesome day. Remember, feel free to like, comment and subscribe for more videos. Also, feel free to like my Facebook page, where I'll be posting my latest videos, news and info on GTA, as well as other games. So again, thanks for watching, and have an awesome day!